of morning. Morning. Yeah, morning. It's half past five. And um, now we woke up very early today because we have to collect water. We reached a station, a sampling station. And uh, we have to collect water with something which is called a CT. Typically, the CTD is a cluster of sensors that measure conductivity, temperature, depth, and also pressure. Hence the name CTD, which stands for conductivity, temperature, and depth. It is also possible to install other sensors to measure other chemical or biological parameters. Most of the time, these sensors are incorporated into an array of bottles, called Niskin bottles, with which we can collect water from different depths in one single deployment. The Niskin bottles can have different sizes and the number of bottles per CTD depend on the size of the whole structure. In the case of the CTD we are using on this ship, it has 24 bottles of 20 liters each. Now the CTD room, it is all automatic. And it all is controlled from this one room, which I will show you. Estoy filmando la sala de la CTD. Before the CTD is deployed, the depth at which each Niskin bottle will collect water from is determined and put into the program. So after the instrument is in the water, it does all by itself. While the instrument is going down, we get real-time data on the measured parameters, which we can see here on the screen, creating a depth profile of the specific water mass. Here on the screen we can see the recordings for oxygen concentration, salinity, chlorophyll fluorescence and temperature. And as we can see here, in this deployment the CTD went until 4,500 meters deep. <laughs> and now come back. Here you can see the depth at which the CTD is now. 1,785.5. Well, it's always, it's coming up now, so of course it's always changing. There's always one person in the CTD room and we uh, always do station, when we arrive on station, it, it doesn't matter what time uh, it is of the day, it can be in the middle of the night, it can be in the morning, it can be during, in the middle of the day, we sample because we have a limited time for a, limit, for a certain number of stations, so we have to make, maximize our time and for that we have to sample whenever we arrive on station. And now we just need to wait that it's up and then sample. It is on deck. Once the CTD is back on board, the scientists collect water from their pre-assigned Niskin bottles, with water from the depth they want. In our case, we collect water to study different parameters at different depths such as bacterial abundance, microbial community composition, methane concentrations, and we also collect water for some extra experiments. After all water has been collected, we proceed back to the lab and continue doing lab stuff, such as filtration, experiments, and lots and lots and lots of pipetting. the CTD down again and as you can see here the bottles are open up and down and connected to this structure in the center and then from the computer we can decide when to close each bottle and then we have water from whichever depth we want so we will put these cups this is my cup, see? It's a normal styrofoam cup. And we will put this inside socks and we will put them tied to the CTD and see what happens. Stay tuned. Here it goes. <laughs> So who can 
guess what happened to our cubs. They look super tiny. And you know why? <laughs> Basically, the cups that we put in the uh, on the CTD, they were full of air, so they are made of styrofoam, which is a type of plastic which has a lot of air. So of course, under pressure, all the air comes out of the plastic and there's no air left. So it just becomes very, very, very small and compact. And look, look how cute and small it is. parameters and m many more that I did not talk to you about. We are capable of characterizing different water masses over time in different parts of the world. And this is and this takes us one step closer into understanding how these complex systems work biologically, physically, chemically, uh, geologically, and, and that which all interact with each other and allow us to have well, the world that we have today, because ultimately the ocean is a very important uh, um, player in maintaining our world's climate and our world's atmosphere and maintaining the world as it is so that we can live on it. This is it, guys. Hope you learned a bit of some things that we can do here on the cruise. And uh, thanks for watching.